What is the Lincoln Theater and how did it come to be? It came to be as vision, as a dream, hope, as a vehicle for exposure in the arts and a place for African Americans to be able to come and share their joy, share their talent, and to be groomed as artists of the world. 1928 is when it was erected by the Masons, and their vision was to create spaces where African Americans come to. During that time, we know segregation was very prevalent, and so the visionaries wanted to make sure that African Americans had a space to come to without the barriers of, of separation and division. Because black folks could not go to Ohio Theater or any place downtown. In fact, there was a theater nearby for whites only. So two African-American entrepreneurs came together and opened up the Lincoln Theater in 1928, and it was beautiful Egyptian motif. And that's the place where black folks came. So we look at the 1930s and the African-American art is thriving. We go into the 40s and we can see from the work of Amina Robinson how the protests were happening there for equal rights and for equity in, in work. We go into the 50s and 60s and we see a number of uh, businesses opening and businesses providing the needs of the community. Um, artists coming here from New York by way of Detroit, by way of Chicago, making their way down to Tennessee, stopping here here at the Lincoln Theater and the other theaters here. We move into the 70s and 80s and we have the civil rights movement and so the arts become very political, they become very powerful. It's the preservation um, and it's the promise of, of what can come into the future. So when 71 came along and separated the Near East Side from the rest of the world in the early 60s, Lincoln Theater closed down became vacant and abandoned to the point of being almost a detriment to the community. And I remember specifically when I walked in that I heard the songs, the dances, the excitement of Duke Ellington, of Sammy Davis Jr of Nancy Wilson, who was a member of our community. My memory is that I walked into the theater and uh, there were dirt floors. Rain had come through. It had e almost evaporated into a nothingness. So that was in 2004 that the ballroom was being used as just a community space and overflow. And our former mayor Coleman uh, decided that um, it was worth saving. The city is working towards a plan with Kappa Children's Theater and others to create a performance hall where thousands of our young people and their families and friends can come and enjoy. So he and Bill Connor of Kappa and attorney Larry James came together in all of their differences and, and raised, you know, $13.8 million to get this started. It could not get torn down. We had to bring it back and use it as the cornerstone for revitalization along the way. My state of the city at that time was, we're going to bring this area back. It was about the Near East Side and that the focal point was going to be the Lincoln Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, see for yourself where the past meets the future. Driving east on Long Street, you'll see on the northeast corner, new office spaces. Now let's look at the Lincoln Theater. You've passed by Lincoln Theater many times over the years, into the lobby, into what will someday be the renovated theater. And this is very similar to what was there 40 years ago. The investment that the visionaries put into this building was driven by the Lincoln being the catalyst for the revitalization of this community. We knew that, and they knew too, that um, as we are building communities and neighborhoods, we build our city. 
And so we have a lot of high hopes about um, what this what Longstreet is going to look like. Back in the day, it was called the Million Dollar Mile because the dollar passed through this neighborhood, allowing success in businesses and entrepreneurship. And we want to do that same thing. I was going to be the first African-American mayor in the history of the city and not bring back this part of the city. And it's taken 20 years, but it's been some of the best 20 years in the history of the city.